Greetings again from Rescue Shuttle Control. It's day five now of your Lost in Space adventure, and you're probably expecting to uh, get another set of instructions on how to rescue yourself. However, this is going to be a little break from our usual routine. And in fact, every fifth day, we're going to break from our usual instruction and have what's called a creative day. And we'll explain a little bit more about what that's uh, going to entail. But uh, in that spirit, I'm going to step out of my role as your friendly robotic AI from the future past. So speaking to you human to human, let's uh, explore a little bit about what we're going to be doing on these creative days. Each fifth day, what we'll do is give you an opportunity to take a little mental breather and uh, think a little bit about uh, what you've learned over the, the previous sessions and uh, get a chance to maybe work on something of your own uh, design or your, your own conception. What we'll actually be having you do is work on some kind of a, a little private project of your own although it won't be entirely private because we're going to ask you to share your ideas and your results with uh, the inventor community. So uh, the way that'll work is we will uh, invite you to uh, join the Facebook group. And if like me, you're a little wary about Facebook, we would like to uh, reassure you that it's a private group so uh, the things that you post and share will not be seen by anyone outside of the private group. And even more important, I want to emphasize to you that the group uh, is a very supportive and uh, friendly group. Uh, it is composed of people of all kinds of levels of experience, ranging from beginners uh, up to people who already have quite a bit of experience in uh, programming and in electronics. And they've been unfailingly helpful to one another, and they'll be helpful to you as well and supportive. So I hope that you'll feel free to post your ideas, maybe even brag a little bit about what you've come up with, and also feel free to uh, use it as a resource for uh, helping you solve problems that you're stuck on or getting uh, creative ideas. So go ahead and join the uh, Facebook group for the Lost in Space Adventure, and that will be the place to uh, post your creative ideas. Now, speaking of creative, you're probably asking yourself, what in the world am I going to be creative doing? What is this project? And really, what's the point of interrupting our flow of learning here with these creative days. So what I'd like to do is uh, remind you of uh, just what you might be thinking when you uh, are, are trying to come up with a creative project. Uh, good old Calvin and Hobbes here are some of my favorite cartoons and uh, usually uh, they have some very wise uh, suggestions. So um, creativity can't just be turned on and off like a faucet. And sometimes what motivates us is, is raw panic. But uh, of course, this is a, a bit tongue in cheek. The creator of Calvin and Hobbes, uh, Bill Watterson, uh, has shared a lot of uh, wise thoughts over the years. And uh, what he points out is he says here in this highlighted quote, if he's learned one thing from being a cartoonist, it's how important playing is to creativity and happiness. So we hope that you'll take this opportunity uh, every fifth uh, day to just play. Come up with uh, an idea that amuses you, that uh, seems fun or something that you might learn from. And uh, it'll help you uh, sort of recharge your batteries a little bit and be ready for the next uh, challenge as we uh, go back to being lost in space. As I uh, thinking about what you might do for your day five creative endeavor, Let's think about some of the things that we've learned so far. So far, we've uh, learned something about how to illuminate the LED lights, as well as the onboard uh, lights of your hero board. 
we've learned uh, something about uh, being able to run repetitive programs, loops, and how to maybe uh, have things uh, controlled according to time using delay functions. So those are all uh, possibilities, possible building blocks for ideas that you might uh, come up with. You might uh, come up with ways of controlling more than three lights with your three switches. After all, there are seven possible combinations of on and off among three switches that you could use to uh, control a larger number of lights. You might think of ways of arranging LEDs on your breadboard in a way to uh, make a geometric pattern and have them flash on and off in some particular sequence, or maybe flash on and off like disco lights, if that's uh, what you're in the mood for. So there are lots of uh, different possibilities that you might be able to come up with creatively for using what you've learned so far to do something new or different. The ability to read the switches, to turn on and off the lights, to execute looping and delaying functions should provide you with some uh, good food for your uh, creative impulses. So we'll go ahead and turn you loose and uh, let you think about just what kind of a creative project you want to do during this day off. And uh, we'll be back on day six. And so when we're back on day six, I'll be back up in space with you. And until then, remember, build everything and invent safe.